Hush, baby, hush. Rest your head on your pillow, little one. You'll be home with a ma soon. I've missed you, my child. I've missed you here, in the deep, in the dark, in the cold. Come to me, my sweet little Kian. Come home. How is he, Naani? Will he live? Your magic brought him back from the darkness. My magic helped him stay. But the fight is his alone now. He must choose to live. Hush, Kia, hush. Rest your head on the pillow. You will soon be home. In the deep, in the dark, in the... Why do we keep him alive? He's the enemy. The fever eat him up. No, Liko. We brought him here for a reason. We need him alive. You freed me, Kian Alvane. Don't blame yourself for my death. This is what I wanted. To be free. To be reborn. When I do kill you, you will feel every twist of my blade as your life drains away. Your pain and shame and dishonor will serve as my vengeance. And I will be there to witness your soul departing for the nether realms, for the shadow and that deep, dark, cold water. They can only protect you for so long, Apostle. In the end, you will have to face your sins. And you will pay for them. Sleep, my child. Sleep and never wake up. We're waiting for you. All of us. We're waiting in the deep. In the dark. Join us here. There's nothing for you out there. You belong here. With a mar in the deep, dark, cold, forever and ever. I must go. He'll wake soon. Make sure he drinks water and eats. He will recover. The only wounds I cannot heal are on the inside. He must heal those himself. Wake up, Kian. Wake up. Wake up! Where in Shadow's name am I? I don't know why they didn't just kill him when they had the chance. After all, he's our enemy. He murdered Raven. I hear he defected. The Apostle's one of us now. Shit, he's here. What if he heard what- Shh! They're waiting for you out in the main hall. What are you planning? Are you planning on turning the Sentinel? Why would I be a... Our water tanks are running dangerously low. A traitor is back on his feet. Praise the balance. How are your wounds? There's still pain, but I won't admit to weakness in front of these strangers. My wounds are not fully healed. They've dressed them and seen to me while I've been feverish. They must know I'm still...
I won't answer their questions until I know who they are and what they want with me. What is this place? Hoping to run back to your masters with the information and buy your life back? Liko. You are in the Enclave, the ancient library of the Sentinel Order of the Balance in Mercuria. It serves as our base of operations. Our? The Resistance, Alvani. Those who have come together to fight the Azadi. Magicals, like her. And me. I remember. The Captain. He used my sword to run himself through the portal. Blood magic. The Shadow has cursed me. The Captain. The Captain. Balsai Bakin laid down his life for yours, Kian. Why? Believe me, I've asked the same question. Why? Why lose a great man like Bakim over you? A butcher, an apostle, a fucking Azadi. He insults my people. They have committed crimes, yes, but the responsibility lies with our leaders, not with every Azadi. This creature, this man. I've seen many Dolmari in my life, but there's something familiar about this one. Do I know you? Perhaps. But then my people all look the same to you, do they not? We are livestock. I've turned my back on my people. So you're also a traitor, Kian Alvani. We'll add it to your list of crimes. My life was already taken from me. Why make all those sacrifices for a traitor? I will not let anyone, least of all a Dalmari, speak to me in this way. What did you say? You are a traitor. You have the blood of countless magicals on your hands, and it will never wash off. What's to stop me from shedding your blood as well? I'd like to see you try, Gazi. No one's trying anything. Liko, stand down. Kian, please understand the sacrifices that were made in order to bring you here. I didn't ask for those sacrifices. And yet, they were made. Kian, we chose you. We sent Captain Bakim to his death in exchange for your life. We need you. As a symbol. But also so much more. We need strength, we need leadership, we need hope. Our numbers are dwindling. Most Northlanders have come to terms with the Azadi occupation. Humans are turning their backs on the Resistance and a blind eye to the genocide of Magicals. We need someone to give us hope, so that we can fight back and win. You're a tool, Apostle. A blunt weapon, nothing more. We need your help, Kian. Will you join us? Do I have a choice? There is always choice. And for every choice, there are consequences. You can't let me leave. If I refuse, you'll kill me. We might kill you anyway. Just give me a reason. We have sacrificed so much to bring you here. This is your chance for a new beginning, Kian. A new life. For the redemption I know you seek. Let them lock me up. Throw away the key. Let them kill me. I will never be one of them. I can never be one of them. But what choice is there? I have no nation, no faith, no mission. What does it matter that their resistance is not mine? And by fighting my people, I might save my people. What would you have me do? You will go into the city tonight with Liko and Enu. They will give you instructions and they will keep an eye on you to... to make sure. To help, if needed. I'll be watching from the shadows, Apostle. A poison arrow pointing straight to your chest. You know our cause is true. You know that your people are in the wrong. Do this, and begin your journey back to life. I'm doing this for April Ryan. She was the one who made me question myself. My mission. My faith. Fuck you, Garzi. There is nothing you can do to repay that debt. April is dead, Kian. Do this instead for all those who still live. Do this for the soul of your people. Do this for yourself. 
The boat will take you to Shady Quay in Old Town. I will let you know when things are ready. After you're done with your mission, we'll meet up at Ulvik's Tavern. And if you don't show, we'll hunt you down and skin you like a rabbit. You may find I'm not a rabbit. Try me, please. Liko. Enough. I don't know. You're a woman? Oh. Hello. Hi. So, new guy, huh? I'm Enu. Actually, it's Enumar Sandia, Twilight Child, daughter of Teomar, and... And my father would kill me if he knew I used just Enu instead of my full name like a proper zid, but he's not around. So, hey, I'm Enu. You're Kian. I know I need to learn to speak with these people. With... magicals. I can't not speak with these... these people, now that I'm supposed to be part of their resistance. The girl deserves a response. I am. Great, hello! Azadi, huh? That's... yeah, great. I've never been. Is it nice? I hear it's nice, when they're not, you know, waging war and murdering magicals. <laughs> uh... This is all she knows of Azadir. Maybe that's not so surprising. Conquering. Murdering. That's how she sees my people, my nation. You think that's all we do? Oh, no. Obviously there's, um, things I don't know. I just... We don't get to socialize with Azadi very often. The ones I meet wear armor and carry swords and shot a lot. Also, they kill Zid. So, uh... Maybe I'm biased? Anyway, I, um... I just wanted to, you know, present myself for you. Introduce myself to you, not present myself. That's just, that's... not appropriate, daughter of Teomar. Ugh. Sorry. I'm screwing this up, aren't I? She's trying her best. Despite her prejudices, despite how the Azadi... how we have treated her and her people, She's willing to give me a chance. You're doing fine. It's an honor to meet you, Enuma Sandya. Twilight child, daughter of Teyama. Oh, wow. The same, Chan Alvane, apostle of the Azadi, son of, um... It's just Kian now. You can call me Kian. Okay. Okay. Can I call you Kay? You can call me Kian. Oh, yeah, that, that's much, much better. Kian. Welcome to the Resistance, Kian. Sorry about Liko. He has issues. I will speak with him. In private. Oh, okay. Private. Got it. Won't pry. I'm trying to cut back on the prying. I find myself warming to this one. So... What's your story, daughter of... Oh, just Enu. No one calls me daughter of blah blah here. And my story is totally unexciting. <laughs> the opposite of exciting? Boring? Dull? Humdrum. That's the word. I'm a humdrum farm girl. Was. Was a farm girl. And hey, now I'm a rebel. Go figure. Never saw that one coming. Well, that's not entirely true. At least my parents don't totally disapprove. They'd be happier if I stayed put and out of trouble. Married a boring zid farmer, had little boring barn zidlings. But they are proud of me. They believe in the cause. And they totally hate the Azadi. Sorry. You have good reasons for hating us. Yeah, well... I'm not sure I can go back there when this is all over. To the farm, I mean. I like fighting for something. I like having a purpose other than... Farming, being a loyal daughter, a zidling breeder. Clearly. I really wouldn't make a good zidwife. I'd be the worst. I'm sorry, this is way too much information. I was just gonna say hello and then blah, so, um, hello. And hey, good luck out there tonight. Well, oh, 
I'm gonna be there with you, but anyway, there it is. <laughs> Hoi, Avane Dar. It's an honor seeing your eyes. If he has something to say to me, Dar is an honorific in Azadir, and Hoy a common greeting. He must have had interactions with Azadi, or studied the language and culture. Who taught you the proper Azadi form of address? Oh, I, um, I, I, I did business with you, with the Azadi for several years, until my aunt's tavern was shut down and she was arrested. Until I learned what was really happening. You took part in that raid. At the Journeyman Inn. Benrim Salmin is my mother's sister. She raised me after my mother died. I, uh, I, I took her surname. I'm Jackai. Jackai Salmin. I was following orders when I arrested his aunt. But that doesn't absolve me of responsibility. Your aunt was harboring rebels. I was under orders to arrest her. I'm sorry for what happened to her. Your aunt is a strong and honorable woman. Oh, I, I don't blame you, Dar. Neither does my aunt. In fact, it was her idea to break you out. She knows you'll be an asset to us. You know, I only joined the Resistance less than a year ago. Before that, I was a businessman, and my customers were mostly Azadi. I don't have time to listen to it. He obviously wants to tell me his story. It was good business. I, uh, I profited from the occupation. I made a lot of money. It shames me to admit it now, but I actually believed in the Azadi. What they were saying made sense. Even, even the things they say about magicals. For a while, I blamed them for everything. I even went so far as to join the National Front for Faith and Family. Do you know who they are? Azadi collaborators, anti-magical crusaders, turncoats. I'm not proud of that. This story seems important to him. But then, when my aunt was detained and sentenced to five years in Cold Stone, it, it changed everything. Opened my eyes. I realized it wasn't the magicals who were at fault. It was the Azadi. It was us. Those of us who didn't speak up or, or take action. Those of us who betrayed our own. He really wants to get this off his chest. I sought out the resistance. And now here I am. With all these brave people. Like... Like Anu. Oh, she's great, isn't she? I'm really impressed with how she... Uh, how she holds up. Boy, the Zid are really striking people. So pretty. Anyway, that's my story. It's quite a story. Isn't it, though? I'm glad to have you with us, Dar. It'll make a huge difference. You have my support. I should be getting ready for tonight. Of course, Alvane Dar. Kian. I'm sorry for going on and on. Good luck out there. Them. Take Anik with you, and Ina also. They've both been begging for a mission. Kian Alvani. Soldier, apostle, assassin. Oh, I expected someone taller. Ah, never you mind. Welcome to the movement for the liberation of Mercuria and the Northlands. Welcome to the bloody resistance. How's your back, eh? The herbs helped. I. She knows her stuff, our Zidmari medic, and she was concerned for you. Sat with you until your fever passed. Never left your side. I'd say she was sweet on you, but it wasn't even that. It was like she... like she was paying back a debt. I'm the general, me. I run this place. You got a problem with logic sticks, you come to me. Your bunk ain't soft enough or hard enough, the general's your man. Not happy with your rations? 
Call on the general. Maybe that stuff ain't as important as intercepting communiques or...